spiritual awakening stages. You might want to have a map to navigate through your spiritual awakening process. Um, I've studied this subject for uh, eight years. Part of this video will be from my own experience and what I recognize in myself and also from what I've heard and read. The first stage uh, I would uh, say is um, the interest. Okay, the interest in uh, going within, back into your uh, experience and perce perception, right? The way you see things, you question it. Uh, and then, uh, if you're fortunate and, uh, you know, for some people it happens through psychedelics or some people it just happens one day, uh, walking by one step and the next, and then it's like the you get your first uh, spiritual awakening experience. So you experience the transcendent. You transcend your normal conventional uh, mind as you used to know it. And then you have an experience and it can last uh, for a second or a glimpse or it can last for months even. Uh, I know, I've heard of a couple of I know one person who had it for months, uh, just being in bliss for months. But uh, me, myself, uh, that was through ayahuasca, maybe for uh, that experience alone, that state of uh, unity and divine unity, that was uh, um, maybe 20 minutes, 40 minutes. But it can also be just uh, walking by and you just uh, notice uh, something is, uh, you, you just sense something. It might not be a huge blissful experience, but something that... Uh, just um, pokes a hole in your uh, normal uh, frame of reality, right? The, in your mind. It cracks, your mind cracks a little open. It might just be a small crack, but that's when uh, your awakening starts uh, happening. The next stage after that experience uh, often uh, is uh, the dark night of the soul. It's called the dark night, the dark night of the soul. It's when the baggage is coming up. You've seen the light and now the, the darkness that keeps the light away, it has to come into consciousness in order for you to, to experience more uh, um, awakening. And that can take months or it can take years or it can take weeks or, or not that long at all. And some people don't feel that much of it. Some people do feel a lot um, of emotional intensity, of resistance. They, they wonder, where did everything go? The, the divine, where, where did it go? And maybe things seem dull and depressing. If you're, um, my tip here in this uh, phase is to, to really see what's going on. Let things be kind of out of phase. Let things be a little chaotic. Uh, because what actually brought you to the first spiritual experience might not help you here. Um, so if that was meditation, maybe, maybe meditation won't help as much in the same way uh, in this stage of the dark night of the soul. So it might, you might have to surrender more. You, have to, you might have to work out your body more. Uh, do things to get through it, to stay sane. Uh, through it, you know, eat healthy, uh, go to a therapist if you have uh, if you have the need for it and want to do it and, and can afford it. Uh, don't completely disappear from the world. At least that's my advice. I'm talking from experience, actually, um, and also seen it happen that uh, you know people can become too isolated. Um, and, and kind of, yeah, uh, lose themselves. So stay sane in this period here. Uh, do things to stay as sane as possible and also see what really is going on. So the next stage is um, equanimity. It's when you start to experience more peaceful way of being. So the, the dark night is kind of, you see that it's... Uh, it's uh, the sun. The sun is rising. It's uh, it's not as dark. 
uh, it's it's clearer. You can see more clearly also. It's easier to meditate and you can see more clearly that uh, where you thought you were separated from the world, you can now see that it was a thought construct. And the more you see that, the clearer and clearer it gets. You might experience a cessation. That's a pretty nerdy word in uh, Buddhism. But uh, I think it's quite relevant, the, the, the event where uh, it's like a cord is being cut. It's like a karma cord being cut. Uh, a layer of suffering, a layer of um, ego identification, self identification is being cut. Uh, the first time that happened to me, uh, my experience shifted radically after that experience. Uh, and uh, so that's a whole cyclus of uh, awakening. However, it's not the end of, uh, it's not uh, liberation. It's not enlightenment uh, yet. We go through, at least uh, me and uh, I've seen many people go through that cycle uh, again and again and again. Um, maybe a few times, maybe many, many times. It's usually not just uh, enlightenment right there and then you see the full thing. Uh, you have to keep cutting strings, karmic strings. So the first uh, string was really, wow, this is a new way of being. And then uh, going through the cycles again and again was a bit easier and easier, actually a lot easier. Um, but there's also been in my experience, you know, certain places in myself where it's uh, more resistance, more holding on. Uh, but one just has to go through uh, all these uh, strings that needs to be cut. And uh, eventually uh, you'll see more and more that uh, there is no separation at all. Uh, even the spiritual experiences, even the dark night of the soul, even the equanimity phase, even the cessations, even the, you know, the, the cord being cut and the, ah, oh, what a release. It, all of that is uh, coming and going. It's, uh, you see that, you know, there's no self in any of that. There's no, uh, uh, no permanence there. There's no, everything is moving and changing. So you have to look for what is not moving and changing. And that can't be, you know, picture, it can't be mentalized, it can't be, it can only be sort of uh, understood. Uh, but it's not a self, so it's not like you, it's not the sense that you are seeing it. Uh, I'm, I, Fred, I can see it. But eventually, uh, all those concepts about the self, uh, they will uh, collapse. And then that's liberation, that's enlightenment the end of uh, suffering based on uh, self construct, which is uh, pretty much at least 90% or maybe 99% of, or 99.999% of uh, psychological suffering going on. So it's pretty much the end of psychological suffering, which is very nice.